Hello YouTube, this is Ryan and I'm the developer of ZOA. ZOA is a creative MIDI sequencer for iOS and Mac OS and today I'm just going to show you how to get it set up in AUM. Right now I got the House Mark 1 over here and I got it just running through a little bit of delay and reverb. But I want to control it with ZOA. So let's pull ZOA up on a MIDI track. I'm going to have to go into MIDI processors and then pull it up there and let's look at the screen. Let's make it bigger. So what ZOA does is it implements uh, Conway's Game of Life here in the center of the screen and you can toggle cells on and off just by tapping on those cells in the grid. You'll notice each cell has a note name that goes with it, and that just tells you what note is going to be played when that cell gets played. So how do we change the settings of this grid? Well, we have up here the grid settings and we can change the root note to any musical note we like. We can change the octave shift of this lowest note here. We can change the scale. There's a lot of scale options. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see added to that. And we can also set the musical range here all the way up to eight octaves. We have some settings that determine how the actual game of life behaves. We can set the grid size to either small, which is eight by eight, or large, which is 16 by 16. And we can set whether or not the grid is going to auto advance. So with auto advance enabled, you can see that the game of life is advancing according to musical time and we can set the speed here with the pace. You notice I've got auto respawn enabled, which means that whenever the grid reaches either an empty state or a state where it just repeats itself, we're gonna regenerate the grid. You can manually respawn and you can manually advance the generations like that. Over here on the right, we have the playhead settings, and the playheads basically scan through the living notes, and whenever they play a note, you'll see that note is orange. We can enable and disable each playhead. We can set its pace in musical beat time. We can set its gate length. We can set the rule that it uses to choose new notes, and we'll talk about those in a different video. We can set its offset in semitones, uh, which is up to plus an octave or minus an octave. We can also create a rhythmic pattern using this pattern control that I'll talk about in another video as well. And we can set playhead velocity and playhead channel if we want to get a bit more advanced. So before we go, let's just quickly uh, hear how this sounds playing our house mark one. So let's just connect this to all the outputs. And we can see Zoa playing it. It sounds great. I want to slow it down. Anyways, that's just a quick overview to get you started. I'm going to put a link to some other videos below where I cook up some more advanced recipes and show you how to get the most out of this MIDI sequencer based on Conway's Game of Life. Thanks so much for watching and have fun making music.